what's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to Arma 3 Breaking Point. Check out that little awesome run I'm doing. But yes, this is going to be Arma 3 Breaking Point, officially Season 3, but not really, because we've kind of had, like, very small percentages of Season 1 and 2. But, uh, I am going to make this a, a legit full season, 10 episodes. Um, and basically this is just going to be, like, the entire season is just going to be on the Chinaris server. Because as far as Armor 3 Breaking Point is concerned, it's pretty much one of the most populated servers as far as, like, US servers are concerned. So, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Someone commented on one of my videos, I think a couple weeks ago, actually. And said something like, oh, you know, you should just rename your channel to Arma 2 because, you know, you never uploaded anything Arma 3. Which, I mean, is kind of true, but it's kind of not. I mean, we did have some Arma 3 videos, like, several, several months ago, but it has been a while. And I don't know, it's mainly because, like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, that whole nostalgic feeling, I guess, for Arma 2 DayZ. But, um... Anyways, we are going to be doing some Breaking Point. Uh, I was going to be doing some Exile stuff, but anyways, I don't know. <clears throat> um, but yeah, we're going to be doing a couple or several of these videos, hopefully, uh, to make an entire season. So for those of you guys that wanted to see Armor 3 Breaking Point, here you go. Um, eventually, we are going to get some people on here to team up with. But for these first couple episodes, it's just going to be me solo going around. And uh, just seeing what kind of shit we can get into on Arma 3 Breaking Point. Um, so, for those of you that don't know, um, I have not uploaded a video in several days. And it's mostly because I had to reinstall Windows. And that kind of fucked some stuff up for me. Uh, I did have quite a few videos, but for some reason I had an issue with one of my hard drives after installing Windows again. Long story short, I got everything somewhat taken care of, so hopefully we're going to be back on track as far as like video schedule and all that kind of shit is concerned. But um, I guess if you don't already know, which I mean you probably should by now, uh, we are on the outskirts of Berezino. And I don't know, I mean, I kind of got this shotgun here and... I think I saw a person over there just now. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys that I just don't go around shooting everybody that I come in contact with. Yeah, there's a guy right here. Hello. Fucking key bindings are different. There, I'll just do the little dance. See, but yeah, see, that just goes to show you that I don't just come across or, you know, shoot anybody that I come across, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm a nice guy. Alright. Got some more barns over here, I guess we can check out. Also, um, if any of you guys happen to be wondering this at all, uh, there's probably, I'm probably not gonna get into too much action tonight. Uh, there's only like 20 something people on the server right now, and I only came across that one guy so far. I've been playing for like 20 minutes. I've, I've expected to come across at least two other people, but nothing. Maybe there'll be someone in these barns. Maybe there'll be some good loot in these barns. I mean, I've kind of got a decent primary if I'm at, like, short ranges, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm just gonna basically be going around looting, seeing what kind of stuff I can, uh, come... Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My heart just went racing because that zombie just spawned in and I thought it was a, uh... I thought it was a player at first. But anyways, hopefully he stays over there long enough for me to loot this bag. I'll definitely take this water bottle and the cereal, all that shit. Alright, um, I don't know where that zombie went. I guess he flipped through the wall and went outside. Uh, decisions, decisions, man. I mean, Sometimes you want to pick up things that you don't necessarily need at the time because you may need it in the future But I'm just trying to stick with things that I can use for like right now I don't want to use too much uh, too much inventory space on, on Shit like ammo for guns that I don't have like I don't know I think you should just reserve that space for ammo for the gun that you do have 
to take a hammer, but I mean, there's really nothing to, like, like all that kind of stuff in that box right there. I don't know. It's, it, it's useful stuff if you happen to come across a vehicle, I guess, or if you want to do like base building or something like that. There's nothing in this barn, and I'm pretty sure I've already checked all these barns. Also, if you guys have not noticed yet, the lighting on this Shinaris map is kind of weird. Um, not exactly sure why these lights are so fucking bright. I do have my brightness and gamma cranked down just a little bit, but yeah, it's fucking intense, dude. Alright, so I mess around with uh, a few of my video settings. Hopefully the trees don't look as blocky. I was starting to notice that a little while ago, so I... I thought I would. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that's cool. There's just a random helicopter parked on top of the uh, convenience store there. I don't know how I would get up to it, uh, and it's probably fucked. I don't know if it needs repairs or not. Okay, so the zombies do know how to open gates in this mod. I could not remember if they did or not. Uh, but yeah, I guess we'll come in here to the, uh, corner store and see if there's anything worth taking. Hopefully there'll be a bit of food, a bit of, a bit of sodas or something like that. Got in here. Okay. A compass will work and a small bandage. I mean, you want to make sure that you have a few medical supplies on you, I guess. Sometimes zombies who are on the outside of the buildings, like, moving around in the grass, kind of sound like players. I'm not exactly sure if that's what I'm hearing right now. I'm pretty sure it is, because I haven't seen anybody running around up here yet. But sometimes they do tend to sound like other players, so... You just kind of got to be cautious. Uh, shit that I can't use. Yeah, another thing is, like, if you've never played this mod before, like, the zombies do tend to clip through things, but, I mean, they're, they're really not that big of an issue. I mean, you hardly ever have to, like, shoot your way out of a situation with zombies, I guess. Bunch of food, a little bit of ammo, and a bandage. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see what we got in here. I guess I'll start taking a little bit of ammo for a different gun. I mean, hopefully I'll find something. Okay, now is that a zombie walking around upstairs, or is that a player? Because it could be a crouched player. Holy shit. Woo! That scared the fuck out of me. Alright. See, like, every once in a while, this get, this game will give me a little jump scare. Or this, uh, this mod, rather, will give me a little jump scare. Let's see. I think that zombie's coming back up here, isn't he? Yeah. I hear you out there. Is he out there? I am kind of, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to run back. I'm going to get that uh, varmint because I did happen to come across some ammo. So, uh, I don't even know why I decided to pick up this sawed-off shotgun. I, I don't know, like, maybe I just thought it looked cool or something. It didn't really work out too well in the end, I guess, because I'm running back to get the varmint, but whatever. Holy shit. If this was real life and that light was really there, I, I would be blind. Like, right now, I would be blind. I would not be able to see these bags. But I know that that, uh, there was some, yeah, like this ammo right here. Like, I could just, I don't even know why I didn't think to go back and pick all that up. So I'm just trying to go around and pick up all the ammo for that gun. Because, I mean, I, you know, wouldn't you like a fucking mid-range rifle over a little sawed-off shotgun? Especially if you saw somebody from, like, two, three hundred meters away? I mean, there was... I'll take that little clip. I think I saw the pistol laying around here, too. Not 
exactly sure where though. Like I know where the I have an idea of where the barman was. I don't exactly know. I know that after I left this bar, I found the barman. So, or maybe I found it in the bar. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe if I paid attention to this kind of shit, I wouldn't have these issues. I've already got a compass. I've already got binoculars. I don't need any of that shit. Hmm. Where the fuck is that gun? There's something there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this map is, uh... It's not perfect, let me tell you. I mean, it definitely looks beautiful, and I'm really, really looking forward to playing a lot of Breaking Point on this map, but it does not look beautiful. I did hear a few zombies. Oh, shit. I didn't even see this. Okay. Well, I got a zombie after me now, so... I'll just fuck it. Not worth going back for, I guess. I mean, it wasn't that great. And, plus, I'm only looking for that one gun, so that pistol. Ooh, a toolbox. Holy fuck. I'm actually kind of glad that I came back now. Rifle, flashlight attachment? Eh. Yeah, why not? I don't know if I'll be able to attach it to the barman, but I guess it'll be worth it. Still not sure where, uh, where that gun was, though, so... 